only loss was to Gina Carano, so she's been in with some good company. We're set to go. Third man in the ring, Sean Brockmole of Indiana. So Sexton slides around to her right, trying to get in position and throw some uh, damaging shots here. They're pretty good striker. Black belt, as we mentioned, Taekwondo, former cage uh, warrior women's champion. Both a little bit tentative here, and there goes the blast by Bereskova to get things going. Look at the power behind Brezakova. That right, she's throwing it with some fire on it. Well, she knows that uh, she's got to perform here. But Bodog, there's the shoot by Sexton, try to take her down. Pretty good sprawl by Bereskova to stop the. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Knee. Guillotine choke. The arm is through, though. She's gonna back her into the corner. The choke's getting a little tighter, even though Rosie's throwing some knees in there. Rosie trying to get him in there, but Bereskova's got a lock pretty good, but. With the arm in there, it's pretty hard to to really get the guillotine and lift her up. The uh, the object is to try and lift her up and choke her out. And now she reaches up and grabs that wrist. So she's feeling it, Jeff. Yeah, I see her trying to wiggle wiggle out of danger here. Brezakova doing a great, great job of maintaining the, the stand-up fight, not letting Saxton get her to the ground. That is not where, where Brezakova wants to be. Brezakova's the one that has the choke hold on her, but she has the arm in there, as you can see. And Sexton trying to get those knees into her to try and soften up those thighs to maybe take her down or get a leg sweep in there to take her down to the canvas. Yeah, this is Shades of the Winnie Tomomi fight in Costa Rica where Rosie Sexton did the same thing. And Tomomi did a good job. And now it's Julia Perez with a beautiful judo throw. And she's got top position. Jack Emery with left hand into the face of Sexton. Sexton squirming on the back and taking top position. Yeah, she can't give up her back here. Brezakova has given up her back, and the hooks are in. They're in deep, too. Sexton trying to choke her out here if she can. The arms are kind of in the way right now, and she rolls over. And you saw Brezakova with the two-on-one, using two of her hands to control one of Rosie's arms. Excellent way to block the choke, but she's still in peril. The one thing about Brezakova is her flexibility. This, this young lady was a gymnast in Russia, has impeccable flexibility. And uh, she, she's got to get out of danger. There you see her roll. A nice roll, too. Good job by Baresa Kova, but she's still giving up the back. And Rosie just can't seem to do much in terms of grabbing, so she continues to pound away at the side of the head of Baresa Kova. Yulia in a bit of trouble here right now, but she knows what she's doing. She grabs the arm, pulls it down. The idea is to bring her in closer so she can't have the power, but she's taking hard right hands by Sexton to the side of the head. Look at this. Reaches underneath. Now she rolls again. Now she tries to get top position. Not quite, Jeff. Yeah, look at her clinch around the head. This is a common move, a, a desperation move, as I call it. But whatever works, works. And Brezakova is trying to get out of it. To her credit, she, uh, Sexton is not able to sink in a choke yet. And there's the escape of one hook. And then she rolls again. Nice job. And now she's on top. Nice job. Her position's far from stable, though, and no. you can see Sexton squirming beautifully, turning, getting back to her knees and elbows and driving forward to put Yulia on her back. Boy, a lot of skill, a lot of energy being expanded here as they continue to battle. Bereskova trying to get loose and, uh, with the upkick, catches her in the chin, and she gets blasted by Rosie. Rosie wants to blast her. She unloads her right hand, doesn't quite, tries to go for side control, but a nice job by Bereskova kind of holding her off. Oh, Prezakova, look out. She is roll, try, tried to roll for a knee bar, but she couldn't roll forward because she's in, entangled in the ropes. Well, Sean will let him stay in this position, and as long as they're throwing, he won't stand him back up. Yuli's in a bad position here, too, because her head is planted. When she gets hit in the face, all the force goes into her head. Her head cannot move to disperse that force at all, but still game, still firing punches from her back. Bereskova has the legs in there, and she's blasting away, as you heard Paul Ezebe say. Heel hook. Yulia's got a heel hook, and this could be danger for Rosie Sexton. Yeah, especially when you're entangled in the ropes. You have nowhere to go, nowhere to roll, so to speak. But uh, Sexton able to get out of it, playing defense quite well. And Brezakova, give her some credit for going for the lower body submissions. She tried it all right. Sexton right on top there, trying to get that knee in the... Just get a little bit of distance so she can blast away. As the arm around the head, plenty of room for both people to still blast away. Look at these shots here. Tries to get the leg up, Jeff. Boy, this is good stuff. Yeah, she's, she's got her arm entangled, which allows for little defense. When it, look at the bridge. 
There's the gymnastics coming into play. Now she regains a little bit of defense, not letting Rosie pass, pass that guard. Grabs onto one of the legs, and that's the end of round one. Male, female, whatever. That was good MMA stuff. Yeah. I got to yield to you on the scoring of that. Yeah, looking back in that round, uh, it was Brezakova, I think, trying to bait Rosie Sexton to come in, and she wanted to pop off a few of those shots. And it was Brezakova neutralizing that takedown, ends up on top in the headlock position. Uh, not a good one against a jiu-jitsu player like Sexton, who was able to get those hooks in, but unable to capitalize on offense. And uh, I'm going to have to give that round to Rosie Sexton, 10-9. All right, we're coming up to round number two. The Colonel Bob Sheridan here with Paul Lazenby and Jeff Osborne. The principal's in there, Rosie Sexton, and it's Beriskova that has a little trim on the black trunk. So, again, it starts out the same way as round one did. Remember, this is scheduled for three. They're five-minute rounds. Oh. Nice shot. Whoa. And there's the shoot trying to take Beriskova down. And down she goes. She's blasting the canvas. Let's see what Sexton can do here from the top position. That was good fighter's instincts by Rosie Sexton. She got her head snapped back with a beautiful straight right and immediately drove in and took it to the mat. That's exactly what I was talking about, Brezikova. Don't let the pretty smile and blue eyes fool you. She will rock your world with the right hand. Now there's Rosie trying to blast her back. Get right up on top of it as you get that knee on top. Now she goes into a full mount, and uh, Sean says, hang on, turn around and get away from the ropes, so and they're right back in the same position. Well, I like that, Jeff, when they turn it around and give them the room because she had gained that position. She had the right to keep it. Yeah, it's going to give both a fair amount to play offense and defense. You see Brezikova bridging, and uh, Ju uh, <laughs> Sexton... It's perfectly comfortable raining punches down. In my opinion, I say this all the time. I don't want to go for armbar here. I don't want to go for any submit. Oh, nice escape. Escape and a reversal. Now she has him in the uh, guard. Oh, armbar. No, look at this. Going for the armbar. Can she, can she pull it off? Hard to see from our position. You folks actually have as good a view as we do right now. Gets that knee in there. Yeah, Yulia needs to just hop over to the side to uh, escape this. Before Rosie, oh, that's not the way to go here. No. She's got it pretty good. Did she close it up, Jeff? Oh, that's it. Is it all over? I Whoa. think she tapped. It is. She tapped out. How about that for Rosie Sexton in the last second? I wasn't sure exactly what was going on, and she tapped. How about that? What a victory for Rosie Sexton. Another notch on her belt and another step up the 125 championship ladder for Rosie Sexton. And a valiant effort by Breza Kova. Great positioning. She worked her positioning, got it, and was able to force uh, Beres Kova to tap out. Yeah, right when I was going to suggest that Rosie maintain that mount and just keep raining the punches down and hope for a, a ref stoppage, she gets bridged and rolled by Breza Kova, and it backfires on Breza Kova as Rosie takes it home with an armbar submission. All right, so we're waiting. Uh, ring announcers moving into position, and Don is set for Don. Let's have the official particulars on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Sean Brockwell stops the fight at 1 minute 39 seconds of the second round for the winner by tap out. Out of the black corner, Rosie Sexton! Okay, so it comes in the second round. Rosie Sexton forces Beriskova to tap out with the armbar submission, and that's all she wrote. Sexton the winner over Yulia Beriskova.